welcome to another episode of Salty Popcorn, hosted by me, Dami, and with my wonderful co-host, Celia. How's it going, Celia? Hey, Dami. I'm good. What's up? I'm good. I'm good. Let's uh, just talk about this uh, 2020 movie, um, Soul, which is an hour 40 minutes, featuring uh, Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey, Jamie Foxx playing Joe Gardner, and Tina Fey playing the number 22. So this... Uh, this movie, which came out on Christmas Day, for those that were lucky enough on Disney Plus, um, which eventually ended up winning two Oscars and nominated for and nominated for another award, and also won one BAFTA um, for Best Animated Feature Film. Uh, this movie essentially was talking about how uh, Joe Garner, who accidentally died, uh, got himself into an into limbo situation and met another soul. By, in, by the way of 22 and talks about uh, trying to discover oneself and understanding if they lived a good life or and finding some pleasures in, in the small moments and also in the big moments and thinking and essentially just gauging if um, <clears throat> if th what they did was right during their life and what they could have done better kind of thing. So to me, this movie, even though it's out on Disney Plus, uh, it's definitely something that can be enjoyed on by adults. Uh, adults maybe even watching with their niece and nephews or their children, uh, just because there is some seriousness to it, and then also some comical elements um, that definitely gives someone to laugh and smile and ponder. So, uh, for this, for me, this movie is quite deep, uh, just because um, it asks the existential crisis questions: What happens when we die? Um, and for the, for me, I'm still wondering, you know, but um, at least for at least with this movie, it gives you an opportunity to start scratching your head and thinking about it for oneself. So um, I think for me, this was a really good movie. Uh, I th the big parts for those that are really into mu into music, uh, this is one of the big features of this movie because Joe's a jazz jazz pianist. And uh, I guess they had a lot of influences from jazz composer John Baptiste to help them compose this movie. So, Celia, what did you think about this movie? I honestly think that this movie wasn't made for kids because it was it was a kind of it had like a lot of like philosophy and how to live your life. So I don't really think that the kids wouldn't would understand this movie. And um, I really like the character Joe because, you know, played by Jamie Foxx because he was asking the right questions all the time. And uh, I really like the, the ending of it because um, finally, you know, it was saying that uh, living life is way more important than achievement, you know, like uh, because mostly people you know they usually think about the ending they're like oh if i can be successful in my career or if i can earn this, this amount of money i'll be happy but they really forget about the journey they forget about uh, how to live their life how to enjoy every little thing so there are some scenes you know that when there's like a character 2020 that she doesn't like to live on earth so she's always judging and she's saying that, you know, life is full of mess. Why would I even have to like deal with all that mess? But when she comes to the earth, we see some scenes that she's enjoying, you know, from like every little, little, little thing, like eating, walking, meeting people at the metro station. You know, there's a lot of things that we keep doing every day, but we don't really... We are not present. So I guess uh, this movie, basically the message was like, we, you should you should be at present and you should enjoy whatever you are doing. Just feel it, just be at present. And um, my favorite scene was uh, when he was auditioning for the, for the jazz, uh, you know, the, that he had to audition for that woman to be accepted to play, uh, you know, I don't know, it was like a restaurant or a club or whatever. I, because, you know, um, he was, he was so passionate about it that he zoomed out, you know, he wasn't even like, 
um, he was so involved in what he was doing that he totally forgot that the woman had to call him that like he gets back to where he was. So that says a lot that if you really love something, for example, even in acting, they always say that you have to really get involved in the character, that you kind of forget everything and you really uh you really think that you are that person, you know? It's it's very like psychologically is very hard. So if you can really do that and you know for for a couple of minutes you totally forget who you are and try to put yourself in another character that's how you become very like a very good actor so for me you know that was very interesting that he was just you know basically zone out and forgot about everything that you know he where he was because he was so in love and playing jazz he was a jazz teacher but like his passion was like playing not teaching but um yeah it was very interesting yeah i i mean i guess that was a good movie i right. would give um maybe seven out of ten what about you uh I'll give this an eight out of ten well, IMDb gave it nine and Rotten Tomatoes ninety five percent. So apparently, so many people liked it. Yeah. But I don't. I don't really think that the kids should watch it. I mean, if they want, they can watch it, but they're not gonna understand the the message and the philosophy of the movie. But there's definitely um a lot of philosophies to this movie, and I, I guess I'll close out with this one quote that got said or this analogy that got said, and that's deeper than um once you really sit down and think about it is the story about the fish right the so a younger fish went to an older fish asking for the ocean and the older fish said uh ocean yeah you're in it and the younger fish said no this this right now is water what i want is the is uh, the ocean yeah so remember yeah. that exchange that in itself if you truly sit back and think about it it's very deep so um you gotta zoom out quote unquote or wink wink uh and to see the bigger picture that's being played so uh like subscribe and and share this podcast so that way we can also get the bigger picture and be able to blow up into the ocean okay okay thank you everyone see bye you.